I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards .com, and you've joined my Craft Until the Cows Come Home Facebook Live, we do every Tuesday night right here. Let me get logged on real quick. And let's see. Why well, my phone's doing weird stuff. Let's shut it off. That's not good. There we go. That way I can see comments as you guys jump on. Of course, my Facebook app is updated, so that means things will be different. Hopefully, we won't have any issues. I see some people from a distance over there I can see, so let, once I get logged on here, then I should be able to see. Here we go. Hi, everybody that's jumped on. As always, in the top left-hand corner, if you see the red live box, that means you are watching me live. If not, you are watching the replay. Please feel free to discuss away down there. Someone will win the card that I am making tonight, and my random picker will draw that from the discussion down there. If you would spread the moves to let your friends know what you're doing, maybe they'll want to jump on here real quick with us and watch and see how this adorable food card, so cute so so cute that's what we're going to be making tonight so simple when i show you guys how to make this yeah you're gonna be like okay i got that in the bag so hello everybody that's jumping on i'm going to tell you i've been a little puny today i have had some kind of stomach thing going on i don't know if i ate something bad last night or it was some kind of little stomach virus but this farm girl has not felt good all day but I knew you guys wanted to see how to make this card. So I thought this shirt was par for the course tonight. Suck it up, buttercup. What do you think? Suck it up, buttercup. These people need to know how to make this cute suit card. And I want to show you how. So we are going to be using the Well-Dressed Celebration stamp set this stamp set just came out which in the second celebration release which means if you place an order with any items that total fifty dollars you may select this if you would like as your free celebration item through the end of march celebration will be going on through the end of march but as you know all the celebration items are while supplies last already sold out are the combo twine pack the kerchief kit and the honeybee designer series paper those are gone so once something sold out it is sold out i will also tell you that we are using the sentiment on the card i'm making tonight from the well-dressed stamp set both of these make the stamp set okay it's a two case kit and i'll show you really quickly because there are so many sentiments you can see i have them numbered and then i number them so I just look for the number on the front, go straight to the inside, and look for that number there. All right. So I'm using the Well Said stamp set and the Absolutely Argyle 3D embossing folder. All right. Now, as always, up in the top, in the description, I have the links for all four of these items. Well, really, it's three items. It's the Celebration stamp set this well said stamp set which this stamp set has a total of 51 51 sentiments mix them and match them you can make hundreds and hundreds of different combinations if you chose to purchase the well said stamp set and the argyle 3d embossing folder the absolutely argyle embossing folder you would be at 55 dollars and you could get the well dressed celebration item for free so yeah i have all those up there for you um i think that's all i have for you tonight hello everybody that's jumping on from all over you know what how about we get this party started i'm going to flip you down and i'm going to tell you what we're going to do and show you what i made and what my inspiration came from and we're going to change it up just a little bit and we're going to get going so hold on hold on to your drawers let me flip you down get you focused in here you guys know the drill it's so funny because you can set everything up before 
and then no matter what when you flip it up to be so you can talk it first it changes so let me zoom in just a itty bit so you can see just a little bit closer and let's see let's check our the sun is going down which is messing with it also I'm going to get it where it's good and focused for you I think that looks pretty good still looks awful dark to me we're going to go with that for now. Probably change as the sun goes down. Now, before we get going, this is the card that inspired me that I received in a swap. Okay? And the creator is Laura Bartow. Laura Bartow. So I want to give her all the credit. Laura Bartow. And she did Night of Navy and Crumb Cake for hers. And... I made mine to show you guys out of basic black. I will tell you I did want to I wanted my lapels down, so I'll show you how I did that. So this is basic black, smoky slate, and cherry cobbler. All right. But we're going to change it up even again tonight. And we're going to do that by using basic gray as our card base. So let me tell you your measurements right off. You need a piece of basic gray that's four and a quarter by eight and a half. Okay, four and a quarter by eight and a half. Now we're going to need to score and cut. So we're going to bring it in along the eight and a half side, and right off, we're going to score at five and a half. Very important. Okay. Five and a half. So I've got it scored. Now pivot that around and cut it at one and a half. So your initial score was at five and a half, and then you pivoted it around and you cut it at one and a half. So here's what we got. So that this makes sense to you. Let's pull this over here for just a second. So let's go ahead and fold that down. And let me grab myself a piece of scrap paper here and burnish that down. I want it good and flat. And you know we do that with the piece of paper so we can eliminate that sheen. All right, so we've done that. So here's what we've got. So you see how we get this part here? Are you with me? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So we've got that done. All right. You're going to be shocked at how simple this card is. Now, right from the get-go, let's just go ahead and tackle our lapels, shall we? So I found that it's just easier if you grab yourself a ruler to score these lapels. And I'm not measuring anything. I know this is... This is the way I cut my paper, okay? Just like that. So I'm going to go to the back side of both of those. And so that I stay consistent, I know I'm going to take me a little pencil here. And I'm just going to go in about a half an inch. Just make myself a little tick mark, a little tick mark. And mainly I want to come down here because I know about how far I want to come down because I want to keep them even. So I don't know if you can see that, but I've made a tiny tick mark there and there, and I know that they're the same. Now what I can do is I can come in with my ruler, find those tick marks. There's one there. And then I'm just going to take my bone folder and run it down. And I'm on the inside, remember? Why am I on the inside? Because we always want to fold away from our burnish line our score line so let's do that here there's my tick line there's my tick line but I really you know what I want to do it like this because I want to be I'd rather be too far out 
than in with my bone folder, if that makes sense. I'm sure you understand exactly what I'm saying. Okay, so I've done that. Just about a half inch, all right? Now I can go ahead and fold away. Just following that line, just like that. Okay. And if you get a little bit of your pencil mark showing, you can erase that. No worries there. I actually do that before I burnish this one down. So it's really quite simple. So see, here's my score line. Just push that down. I'm going to put it over. Now hopefully my lapels are somewhat similar, which they are. All right, so we're in pretty good shape there. All right. Doing good so far. Now, let's go ahead and bring in this background piece of Whisper White. And I will tell you that both the Whisper White, this piece here, this background piece, and I've got Cherry Cobbler for the top are the same size. These are three and a quarter by four. Okay? So the three and the quarter is across the top, and the four is the lengthwise. Hi, everyone that's jumped on. Now I'm going to bring in my basic gray ink. And I'm going to bring in my tie because whatever color I used for the base of the card here is what I wanted to use for the collar. And yes, it's going to stamp the tie as well, but we're going to be covering that up so you won't see it. So let's just go ahead and get that all good and leveled up. I'm just coming down just a smidge, and once again, I'm eyeballing what's about the center. I'm going for it. So there we go. We've got that done. Okie dokie. Let's set that aside, and let me bring in my stamping, or my uh, Simply Chamois. And I need to clean that off because now I need to bring in a piece of scrap and I need to do my tie, okay? Well, because my vest in this one is going to be Cherry Cobbler, I want my tie to be Smoky Slate. So what are we going to do? We're just going to stamp the tie again on a scrap piece. Super simple. Just like such. Are you with me? Let me clean that off so we can put that away. That was smoky slate. Then we're going to fussy cut out just the tie. And you know I love to fussy cut. <coughs> no, I don't. Looky there. I am so fast. I've got that tie fussy cut right out. Do you guys love it? Oh, I cracked myself up. Okay. Now. Bring back your three and a quarter by four inch piece of cherry cobbler, and then we're just going to kind of eyeball. And I'm going to do that by sliding this down. See? Now, once again, I can take my pencil and make a little tick mark there. That's the center, all right? And decide how far past do I want to go. And you can get super technical. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to go right about there. And doing the same thing right about there. And then if I hold it like such, I can then decide from my middle tick mark about how far down do I want to come. And I'm going to go right about there. That's what I'm going with. I'm eyeballing it. That's the way I'm rolling. So now, bring in your snips. I'm going to go from that center down to my tick mark. I'm going to go from this tick mark to that where I just cut. Just like you're flagging something. And from this one just like that. Okie dokie. So simple you guys. Very, very, very easy. Okay, here is where 
our Absolute Argyle 3D embossing folder comes in. So I'm going to put that in here. And you know how I am. So I want to kind of make sure that it's all lined up. So my Argyles are kind of in the center. And there's little diamonds in there. And so I just kind of look at one of those where I've got it together. And because this is a 3D embossing folder, you want to use your Big Shot platform as is. And you want to put your embossing folder down and your blue plate. That is your sandwich on the 3D embossing folder. Big Shot platform. 3D folder with the paper cardstock in it and your blue plate. And when you do that, you get this beautiful, beautiful vest. Can you see all that texture? Isn't it pretty? Thanks for spreading the moves, everybody. Oh, people are ordering their lipstick pens. I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to put this together. So this one is a little lower, which is fine. No right or no wrong, remember? That's about the same, actually, I think. Yes, I do. So let's bring in... I want wiggle room. So you know I've got my Tombow because I want wiggle, wiggle room. I'm having a hot flash, you guys. I hope I'm not having a senior moment. Better that than be catching something cruddy, though, wouldn't it? So let's pull that up here. Just like such. Going to pull it down just a smidge. That's good. Okay. And then... Let's go ahead and if you'll notice here, this right edge butts up here. So I'm going to do a dry run and I'm going to place that and this and see what I get. Because I, I want to make sure... That I've got the same amount of gap, top and bottom. And that it's symmetrical with... Oh, looky how good I did. All right. So what are we going to do here? We're going to put some glue right... I don't want to go all the way to the edge. So I'm going to... Because I need that to stay down. Don't go too high. And don't come in too far. And we'll get this one on. Then we can do our other one. Can you believe how easy this is? You like that? You like that cherry cobbler? I know it looks a little red. Here, let me get up here a little more. It looks a little red there on screen. But it's cherry cobbler. Alright. Now, this one... It's literally going to go right up against this edge here. So I'm going to do the same thing. And then I can wiggle it and make sure it's straight and it looks good. Just like such. Love it. Oh, everyone's loving it. Woohoo! I wish it was my idea. But you know what? I, I kudos. Kudos to Laura for her adorable idea. Now I'm going to take the tie. And I got to tell you, technically the tie would be under the vest. Okay? So I thought, you know what? You could really color the tie in, stamp it, and mask it off, and then uh, come back. And just put some rhinestones down the vest. That would be key too. So just mask off your tie so it's a different color. 
How cute is that? All right, now what we need to do is we need to stamp our hats and we want to get those over as far to the right as we can get them on this whisper white and this is just a five and a quarter by four inch whisper white we're also going to do this in the basic gray so i'm going to line it up and i'm going to start at the top glue there come to the bottom anytime you're doing trios that's the easiest way split the difference go top go bottom and then go in the middle Which I can, the camera is right in my way but I'm going for that hey I did pretty good so we've got that done and I thought I would kick it up just a little bit because my vest has got the cherry cobbler in it. So I was thought I would go ahead and bring in my Stampin' uh, Blends, my dark cherry cobbler. And I'm just going to do the ribbon on all three hats. You don't have to do this step. But I thought that kind of pulled the hats in with the vest. It was just to add a little bit. And you won't have any problems using that with the uh, basic gray ink. It won't give you any problems at all. I'm using the wide tip and just a very, very, very light hand. What do you guys think? You think that you think it needed that? I think it needed that. bring it all together now I will tell you I'm not putting a sentiment on the inside I'm doing the one on the outside so there's plenty of room to write but you could definitely add a sentiment to the inside if you wanted to oh everyone is loving this card she did a great job for sure so now we can go ahead I just a little bit with glue I got it off now let's go ahead and put this down And I cut this as such so that there wouldn't be, this was a little close, so I shortened these up just a little from my original design. The measurements I gave you are for what I'm making right now. So you shouldn't have any problems with this edge overlapping your hats. Just stay to the right and you'll be good, okay? All right, now we're going to bring in uh, just a strip, a scrap of Whisper White. I've got my basic gray. And from the well said, I'm going to use happy and I'm going to use retirement. Where this one I chose happy birthday, and I will tell you this sentiment came from um, perennial birthdays. Is that correct? Yes, perennial birthdays. But I wanted a retirement, and, and the well said also has Father's Day, it has all kinds of other sentiments in it. So that's why I chose the well said. Because I love that stamp set, and it's a great way to earn the well dressed as you're, you know, get to that fifty dollar mark, so you can get well dressed. Okay, I got to pull it to me, you guys. I'm sorry, but I got to be able to see what I is doing. Hey, I didn't do too bad with that camera right in my face. We're going to go with that. Okay. So we all have those scraps. This is a perfect time to use them. So take your snips. Mm, let's just come off just a bit. Cut it straight. There you go. Ah, the hat man. I did good, huh? Woohoo! I love it. And then 
we're just going to put this on another scrap you know I keep all of my scraps in a sheet protector for each color so I don't have to dig through a stack no 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 I went straight to my smoky slate pulled out my scraps found one that would work And then I'm going to snip that right up just like such. Because I went with Smoky Slate, because I have Smoky Slate in my tie. Now, what we need to do is we need to pop this up. So I'm going to go ahead and use three dimensionals. That way it's going to stick to the vest and to the uh, suit itself. Stinking awesome. <laughs> Is it hot in here to anybody else? <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm definitely having a moment. So how's that look right there? Now, I want to... I want these down. I like the look. I like the texture, but I don't want them like things. So I'm just grabbing a glue dot. Going to put it on the back of that. Push that down. One more. Put it on the back of this. You guys didn't think this was going to be this easy, did you? So simple when you have the measurements. And then last but not least, we're going to bring in a rhinestone basic jewel using our take your pick tool, just pushing to the side, and I'm going to put it right there in the middle. And there you go. What you think? Oh, everyone is loving the card. She did fabulous job I totally want to give her credit love it myself love it love it love it once I played with it figured out how to design it yes this is her design and then there's both of mine so someone's gonna win this card right here yes they are it looks easy because it is easy Marty, it is. Now you got all the details. You can whip that thing right out yourself. Let's put thing over and blend them. We'll blend them both. The black will show up. It'll be light, but it will show up. So like I said, up in the top, you're going to find the links back to purchase the items. And if you buy that well posted stamp set, which I can't recommend enough, and the absolutely argyle 3D embossing folder. You'll have enough to grab that well-dressed celebration item for free. And we free. Gonna make it right now. Woohoo! SD, I love it. There you go. So we got that done. So Friday at 5 o'clock, I'll announce the winner from whoever random picker selects as the winner. And you'll just need to holler at me and get back with me with your address, and I'll get it in the mail to you. So hold on one second. I'm going to flip you up and around. Hey, we did good. We did good. The card turned out adorable. Everyone loves it. I love that. So that's all I've got to you, for you guys tonight. Remember, all celebrations are going to be while supplies last so I won't be surprised if it's don't start uh, selling out and of course when they do I will uh, make you aware of that on my Facebook page also um, hopefully you see my newsletter you saw what's going on with the coronavirus so that's delaying items in from ship some of the workers are back in the plants working but that is uh, it's you guys have seen it and heard enough of it. Just know that if there's something that you want out there, I would go ahead and grab it now so you can get it in a timely manner. Okay? Thank you guys so much for spending your Tuesday evening with me. Savannah has come home. I'm sending you hugs and kisses from the Scott Farm. 
I hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye, guys.